Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates hello students welcome to commerce online classes so in the previous class we discussed regarding the topics of britain wood conference and sdr r paper gold special drawing rights let us see the some remaining concepts of open economy very important for two marks that is the differences between the nominal exchange rate and real exchange rate so about closed economy and open economy i said so the difference the point of difference between nominal exchange rate and real exchange rate see here students so nominal exchange rate is nothing but it is expressed in terms of money the exchange rate is expressed in terms of money is said to be the nominal exchange rate exchange rate is expressed in terms of nominal rate price that is through the money and the real exchange rate is it is the ratio of foreign prices to domestic prices ratio of foreign prices to domestic price means external rate to the internal rate exchange rate foreign countries currency price to the indian rupee rupee value so nominal exchange rate it is the amount of domestic currency paid to purchase one unit of foreign currency one unit of foreign currency to purchase one unit of foreign currency how much domestic currency is paid out that is said to be the nominal exchange rate measuring in the nominal manner it is the amount of domestic currency paid to purchase the one unit of foreign currency what is real exchange rate it is expressed in terms of purchasing power of both the countries reality what is the real purchasing power of the india what is the real purchasing power of china what is the real purchasing power of any usa or any other countries thus real exchange capacity of different countries are measured through the real exchange rate it is expressed in terms of purchasing power of both the countries country a with the country b country a is going to exchange the goods with the country b country b is going to exchange goods with country a during that particular interval time what is the purchasing power of the particular country that is said to be the real exchange rate so both the scope is wider real exchange rate and nominal exchange rate but theoretical purpose what they said the scope of nominal exchange rate is narrow and the scope of real exchange rate is wider scope for nominal exchange rate is very less compared to the course real exchange rate is more very high so it has more scope it has less scope so nominal exchange rate gives complete picture of the international trade nominal exchange rate is also gives the complete picture of international trade how much our currency is given or paid out to purchase the foreign currency one unit of foreign currency so by that also it is easy to know the complete picture of international trade or external trade international trade is nothing but external trade or foreign trade it gives a complete picture of external trade or foreign trade because we are discussing about open economy so exchange of goods between the different countries of the world what about the real exchange rate it gives the clear picture of international trade or external trade 
it also gives a clear picture of external trade because the real exchange rate expressed in terms of purchasing power of the both the countries thus we can measure the purchasing power of different countries through the real exchange rate so it gives the idea about what amount of foreign currency purchased with the domestic currency that is the nominal exchange rate so i thought we cleared about this topic nominal exchange rate and real exchange rate exchange rate means you know that rate at which the currency of one country is exchanged with the other countries of the world while undertaking the international trade or external trade rate, exchange rate is nothing but students it is a uh, price price is nothing but rate exchange rate is nothing but it is a rate or price paid for purchasing the goods while export and import taking place for that whatever the price we are going to give in the form of payments that is nothing but exchange rate while exchanging the goods rate is fixed that is said to be the exchange rate so let us see now we discussed about the nominal exchange rate and real exchange rate i thought you cleared this concept next see the different countries and their currencies very important for five marks project oriented question may comes different countries having different currencies so there are many countries having different currencies let us see one by one what is the country name is india we already know that indian rupee our currency is in the form of rupee indian rupee not only rupee indian rupee usa united states of america is having us dollars d o l l a r s us dollars uk united kingdom country name uk british pound british pound is the currency used for exchange of goods and services in uk by uk germany euro germany is using the euro to buy or purchase the commodities through the exchange japan country japan its currency is japanese yen japanese yen y e n n china its currency is yuan yuan y u a e n u a n u a e its dirham currency of u a e is dirham and currency of russia is ruble r u b l e or r o u b l e you can write like this also ruble r u b l e or r o u b l e i thought that you understood this the uh, name the countries and currencies of any five countries question may comes you should learn all these and you should write any five out of which so even many of the countries are there i left bangladesh is there bangladesh taka you know that bangladesh currency is taka t a k a bangladeshian taka and also argentina is having peso p e s o argentinian peso so uh, in the form of paise peso is nothing but paise argentinas peso so these are the different countries and currencies these currencies were exchanged while exchanging the goods and services so for this we are going to say the exchange rate so through the different countries having different currencies that they are going to exchange while conducting the international trade so different currencies you came to know with the different countries so next we are going to discuss the differences between depreciation and devaluation thank you don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates